Hey guys, in this video we're going to be covering the wait for image search function, which is a part of the image search library. This is part 4 in a 5 part series. You need to watch part 1 before you continue, because in part 1 we cover how to get this library, which image search isn't native to auto it. Anyways, let's dive straight in. Make sure you have a script saved in the same folder as your image search 2015.au3 file. Make sure that at the top of your script you have include less than sign image search 2015.au3 greater than sign, just like this. You're also going to need an image to search for. This is the image I'll be searching for. I have that image inside the same directory as my image search 2015.au3, as well as the file that I'm working on right now. Right now I have up a documentation file I created and included with the image search 2015 library that you can download on Dropbox. If you downloaded the image search library from the auto it form, you can get this documentation linked in the description. In it, it covers the wait for image search feature in way more detail than you could pretty much find anywhere else. And we're going to go over this later. You don't need to have it, but it will probably help moving forward. All right. So the first thing we're going to need is two variables. We're going to make this one called X equals zero. We're going to make another one Y and we're going to set that to zero as well. And let's also make a, another variable. Let's call this wait time. We're going to set this to two. Now let's go ahead and make a la our last variable. We're going to call it picture or whatever you want it to be. And you're going to put the path or the name of your picture in here. My picture is called picture.png and I already know that it's in the same directory as my project. So I don't have to include the path to the picture. If your picture was in a directory other than your project, simply go to the folder, copy the path, go back to Ottawa instead of having your picture name here. You'd paste the path, but then at the end of the path, before this end quote here, you'd put backslash picture name. But again, since I have this in the same directory as my project, I don't need that. Now let's do our uh, image search. So we're going to do wait for image search parentheses. Our image, in this case, it's going to be picture comma. We're going to do our wait time variable, a one. We're going to do X comma Y comma zero comma zero and parentheses. Then at the beginning of this line, we're going to store this in a variable called result. You can call it whatever you want. So how this works is we're going to be calling the wait for image search function from the image search 2015 library, which we've included in our file. It's going to search for this picture and it'll allow itself to take this long to find that picture. It's going to return one, which is the very center of our image, and it's going to store that position in X and Y, finally returning the result in this variable result. In our documentation, you can see it says the same thing. We've got our find image, which we can see is here, the image we're trying to locate, wait seconds, which is how long we're going to try and find the image, result position, which is going to basically set where the returned X and Y location of the image is, one for the center of the image, zero for the top left. X and Y is obviously where it found the image. Now we've got tolerance and transparency here, which are these two zeros. Tolerance is how off it can be from the image, or in other words, it finds an image that's 88% like the one you're searching for, does it accept it or no? Zero tolerance means it has to be exact. The highest you can go is 255. I've seen people on the auto it form say that somewhere between 100 and 150 is a good number. But if you go too high, it's gonna be uh, falsely identifying everything as the picture. I'm not 100% sure on what the transparency is. If we scroll down here, we see transparency. It says, if I'm not mistaken, it's saying if you change that zero, the zero we have right here, to trans black, trans white or a hex value, it'll allow itself to search for that as well as a part of the image. I'm assuming that means trans black is some kind of black transparent aspect to your image. Same with trans white, except it's white or a hex value. So let's say that you had a slightly green transparent background in your picture. I'm assuming you would give it the hex value of that green and it would allow itself to identify that as a part of the image. If you're trying to get the hex value, press the start button on your keyboard, scroll down until you see auto it, and then open up the auto it window information tab, tool I should say, go to the mouse tab, and you can see position and color. Use the finder tool, drag it over something, say the color that you're looking for, and you can see now we have the hex value of this color green, which say maybe was the transparent thing in our picture. Anyways, with transparency it's all speculation, if you guys figure it out, let me know in the comments what it does. Before we continue, I want to point out that this wait time is different than a sleep time. What do I mean by that? So when you use the sleep function like that, it's going to sleep for this many milliseconds, which is one second. 
With this wait time, it's gonna do the same thing, except this is in seconds, not milliseconds. So if I set this to 2000, it will wait for 2000 seconds before it says, no, nah, this isn't working. So when you're using the wait for image search or wait for images search, make sure you set this to seconds and not milliseconds. So we've done our image search, we've stored the result. Now let's do a conditional to see what happened. If result equals one, then that means if it found the image, we're gonna move the mouse to X, Y. And actually let's set a mouse speed of 100 so you guys can see it move. Else, we're gonna do a tooltip like always. And the message is gonna be error. And if, and let's do a sleep right here so we can see the tooltip before it disappears. Now I'm gonna press F5. Error, because the image isn't up. It waited for two seconds, and then it didn't detect the image when it did the image search, so it produced an error. Let's try again, but this time I'm gonna open the image. And there the mouse goes, moving towards the cat. That's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!